Hello, my name is Chris Harrison and I'm an adjunct professor at North Carolina a t State University. And this tutorial will be to demonstrate how to create a web, free website, basically. In this case, we're using the website format um, for portfolio, for electronic portfolio. And the uh, intent is to collect work and pieces from a student's freshman year through their junior, or rather the senior year, and even beyond. I mean, this has great applications to be your own personal portfolio that you can keep up because it's free. Um, tools are, are really easy to use, and I'm sure they'll only improve in time. It's just a really great format for creating your own um, web presence uh, in this ever competitive market. So anything we can do to get our leg up, we need to do. So I'm going to start off by saying um, the first and the hardest part of this is we're going to be getting your information together. Um, I've created a folder here called my web page that has my images in it um, and I've organized them from freshman to um, senior year. I also, I know I'm creating a bio for myself so I have a profile already made and pages that I've spell checked. So all, all that's ready to go. Um, and once you have that really you just jump right in. Um, I did a quick web search um, for, let me go back here rather, um, for sites that open source sites that allow you to create web pages for free. And Wix was the first one I was introduced to and it's flash based and I just I like it a lot. So this is what we're gonna be using, what I'm gonna be using for this tutorial, but please feel free to explore um, and find something that you, you're comfortable with and you like working with the interface so that you can really get engaged with it and come up with a really great design and make your um, e-presence beautiful as well as functional. So. It's free. You have to create a, I'm already logged in, but you'll have to create an account with Wix. It's free. Okay, we'll go start creating. And what's cool about this is it gives you tons of templates and there's different categories for things you can do, consulting, real estate, photography. And all these things are really, laid out, I mean, they're laid out pretty much for you. And you're just adjusting color and the imagery. Um, you could also create some things from scratch and there's a, a project that I'm working on. And like I said, you can get really creative. You take pictures of things and you know, put things in that have meaning to you, your own pieces on you know, places that you've been and really make a really cool website. But for this demonstration and for the sake of ease, I'm gonna select this portfolio, it's black and white, and I'm going to click edit. All right, so all these components are live. Um, these, this band represents your it's a configuration that's been selected and it represents your pages. And this is also represented with your page manager. Um, and these are just individual components. And as you click on them, you know, they become editable. They give you menus to change whatever you want and as we're transitioning through. So we're gonna go back to the home and I'm gonna change this, this image out. And um, as I clicked on it, you'll see it says, oops, change photo, so change photo. And I've uploaded these pictures um, into to Wix and it actually stores them for you. So it's making this process easier. So it takes a little bit of time to upload your pictures, but not that long. You'll get through it pretty quickly. So I'm going to expand through this and find my picture. I click on it and I'm going to resize it to get it out of the font. I'm going to click on this font and go edit. I'm going to change that name to that name. Try to do control A. Sometimes the controls A they don't work too well. And I'm gonna select the green color. When you select the color, it keeps the most recent color so you're able to have color um, continuity to your piece, which is a good idea and cool. So I'll make that green and also I'm going to edit that. I want to make it smaller. And should reduce the tracking and leading on that. I'm gonna make it zero. Small. Okay, that's that's cool. That works for me. All right, and I'm gonna edit this. And it gives you cool. It gives you instructions on how to do things too. And it's just really cool and easy to use. And actually, let me go to my profile description that I have here. I'm control copy. And now I'll go back here and select all that. And do control V. And that's working for me. I want to make that, oh, edit that. I want to make it larger. Yeah, a little bit more space to read. Let's see if I can. And then you just bring this over to scale your text. 
Let me see how fast I'm going through this, guys. I mean, it's really, really easy to use. And it can only get better. The technology will only improve. Oops. Okay, well, that's good. All right, um, something else I want to note that they have this, these components locked, so I'm selecting to unlock it, and it, they become editable as well. So I'm going to format the text. And there's some things they want to do here. Some really cool features. You can create flash, and all these things can be animated. Really, really powerful. Um, but what we're going to focus on is the mouse up. I don't want that pink. I want that green. All right. So that when you select over it, it's going to turn green instead of pink. Now, when it, the page is actually selected, instead of being pink, I want it to be green as well. Okay. Oh, and I want them to be bold. I don't need to format the text. I don't want that to be bold as well. All right, now that's working for me. Now home, I'm gonna rename that. You rename it over here on the pages. So you're gonna rename. I'm gonna call that profile. Catwalk here represented for her um, jobs, and I'm not gonna list those. We can put resumes. You can do whatever you want to these pages, but I don't want this in my administration. So you would just delete. It's gone. Um, that didn't go, so it's gone. Contact the straight. So let's just start building this quickly. Uh, change that to that green color. And all these components are are instant. So you link your well, I think uh, uh, your email, another email address to this account. So it's just really cool. You can, you can set up a contacts page. I'm gonna change that photo up. Photo. We'll say that for last. Let me get this info side knocked out real quick. Change that photo. Edit. Make that green. Okay. And edit this text. These text boxes are here. You can also add text boxes or anything from this menu. But no need to reinvent the wheel here. Don't need to know my address. Looks personal. <laughs> Country, that's cool. I don't think you guys need those zips, it's not necessary. Um, facts, nah. Specializing in, okay, same thing here, so we can just start typing, so. All right, and then my city is gonna be Raleigh and Greensboro. <laughs> North Carolina, country, so US. Never know who might be looking at your page, that's what's so cool about it. So when you have a business card or put this little web address or even a, a QR code on this thing um, that links somebody to your web page, it's just, it's really cool. Specializing in, and I'm gonna go as far as to say landscape architecture and graphic design. I'm gonna get rid of the stuff that I don't need. Like that done. We can go in here and edit these if we wanted to, and make those bold and green. I went back by control zing so then I'm out. Now I just kind of learned intermittent. I don't know. Let's see if it works again. Yeah. Let me edit. You can double click in it, but sometimes you have those little mishaps. I keep on doing. Edit. Okay. Portfolio, last section. This is a slideshow that's it put in it to mine. There's different types that you can put in for these uh, for the galleries. I'm gonna quickly go through this so I can make it with my time deadline. So I'm gonna delete that component. And I'm gonna double click this and get in here. And I'm gonna make this seven. Because I'm gonna it's about the size that it needs to be. Okay, 
do that and take that wig up leading. You can distort your fonts. I don't want to mess them up like that. And call that. Push me here. Okay. And actually, you can even go smaller than seven. And it gives you the instructions to do this as well. I'm gonna delete that, I don't need that. And I'm gonna go over here to add, and I'm gonna go to galleries, and I'm gonna go to slider. And it gives you these different options for selecting which, um, I guess, aesthetic that you want. I'm gonna go grunge. And it pops this up. You click on it, manage photos. Um, you are this site allows you to, let me delete that one, and then replace photo. It allows you to upload your images to it and it stores it for you. So I've already done that to expedite this process. And I'm just gonna select a couple. Actually, I need to delete all. It makes the process faster because I can select multiple ones. So then I'll add photo. So I don't want that, I don't want that. I don't want that and that. Let's call that for freshman year. And you see it just compiles these pieces into a slider for you. <laughs> it's just really nice. Resized it, jumped around, sorry about that. Okay, well, that's good, I don't need that, those are fine. Now what I wanna do is quick, quickly copy these pieces, so I'm holding my shift to copy them and then control, so let me actually right click, copy item, and then control view it, and it pulls those pieces for you. And you can use the ruler tool to get these things dead on. Eyeball this for this demonstration, but it would be dead on, obviously. And then I'm going to do sophomore year here. Click on here, manage photos, delete all, yes, add photo. So I'm going to say uh, that, 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 that. Uh, I'm going to say that and that. Boom, sophomore year is done. You guys see how fast this is, super easy to do. Copy item, control V. And actually, let me delete those, yes. Let me copy all of them at the same time and get my four. Copy item, and then control V. Makes it easy to line them up. I mean, all these really cool, easy tools to use. Really easy. Freshman, sophomore, junior. Same thing, manage photos. Delete all, yes. Add photos. Yes. Junior, all that stuff, yeah. And I'm going to change this to senior. And same thing, manage photos, delete all, yes, add photos. Uh, let me say that. Boom. I mean, there you have it a quick, easy portfolio. And then you can preview it. You publish it or upgrade. The upgrade is when you start talking about paying money. We don't need that for this. But if you want, if you're interested, it's not a bad investment. But um, we're gonna go preview, and you'll see. So as you transition from pages, you go to portfolio. You can slide through your pieces. So you're working. You just click on it to zoom. It's just a really cool thing. Thank you.